Ah, the skull check. Another one of my all-time favourite things. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Look at this. It's an egg. We're going to turn this into a scotch egg. So we're going to drop it straight into some boiling water. Use a slotted spoon so it doesn't crack when it hits the bottom of the pan. You can place it in nice and gently then. And we're going to cook these for six minutes in very slightly simmering water. Then after the six minutes, tip the water out and run them under really, really cold water. Or you can dip them into ice water. But we need to stop the cooking process straight away. We don't want these eggs overcooking. And we're going to transfer them to a glass bowl just so you can see through. Fill it with water. A little trick is just to tap and crack the eggs against the side of the bowl and put them back into the water. Let that water seep inside the inside of the shell. It'll make it so much easier to peel. And we're ready. One, two, three, and four. Now onto the sausage meat. And you know, because we're in England, we got some amazing sausages to choose from. But I went for the classic and famous Cumberland sausage. It's a sausage made from a beautiful pork and it's mixed with nice spices and herbs. It's a classic sausage in England. And you just want to start with the very strange process of actually removing the sausage meat from the skin, just sliding it out at the end. And then to the sausage meat, we're just going to add a little sprinkling of cumin, some dried garlic and some dried sage. And give that a good mix together with your hands, you know, get stuck in. And then we're actually going to make two different types of scotch eggs today, so we're going to split this mixture in half. And into the first one, very simply, we're just going to add some black pudding. If you don't know what black pudding is, it's literally like a massive sausage that's made out of dried pig's blood. And yeah, that sounds disgusting, but it's absolutely incredible. It's got an amazing, unique flavour that you, I just can't describe. But we're going to break it up, I'm going to mix that through. Then literally in your hands, form out almost like a burger patty. And then start flattening it out and putting a little hole in the middle, enough for where the egg will go. And then you just literally wrap in the sausage meat around the egg. Take your time and don't put too much pressure on because the eggs are still very soft. But make sure the egg is fully covered. Once it's done, move on to the next one. And set that aside while we put into our next one some broken up walnuts, a small handful of cranberries, one full grated apple, juice and everything. This will keep the scotch egg really nice and moist. And a good amount of cracked black pepper. Give that another good mix around and same again, form like a burger patty in your hand, make a little divot in the middle, place the egg and then start wrapping the meat gently around the eggs. And then just simply set up our three-way breading station. So in the right hand side we've got flour, in the left hand side we've got panko breadcrumbs and in the middle we're going to mix one egg with a touch of milk. I'm just going to give it a little whisk round and then very simply we're going to be rolling our scotch eggs into the flour first, then into the egg and then into the breadcrumbs. Making sure the breadcrumbs are all nice and firmly stuck to the actual eggs and fully coated all the way around the outside. As you can see, I didn't use the dry hand, wet hand method as I only had four eggs and I was a bit stupid and messy on this one. But you know, you want to try and keep your hands clean as possible. So let me just go wash my hands. Then as if out of nowhere, I've magically set up my fryer to 180 degrees. And because it's quite small, we're going to place just two at a time in. We're going to cook them until they're nice golden brown. They take about 10, 12 minutes. We'll keep an eye on them, give them a little jiggle around and, you know, maybe turn them around every now and again, especially if they're touching the side or touching each other like they are with these ones, until they look like this. And then take them straight out and put them onto some kitchen towels so that all the oil soaks into the towel and not into our eggs. You know, to all them health conscious Scots who will probably be upset to know that the Scotch egg was actually invented in Yorkshire. But it's okay, you can have this one, we'll take the pudding. But there you go, this is the colour that you're looking for, nice golden brown. Are you ready for the beautiful cross section? Look at that runny egg. That is absolutely perfect. I mean, it's still hot, so it's a little bit runnier than I wanted it to be. But if you keep these in the fridge, you eat them the next day, the flavor is going to be even better as that sausage meat and the spices have all infused together. And that egg just soaks up all that flavor on the inside. It's incredible. And just look at the close up of all that black pudding running through the outside of the sausage. I mean, I'm a massive fan of black pudding, so this was definitely my favorite. But the apple one gave a really nice sweetness to the sausage meat as well. It was incredible. The worst thing is I had to stop to take the Instagram pictures and I couldn't help myself, they were so good. But if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, check out my Patreon, support the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Just keep cooking.